Hello everyone, welcome to this smart life. Today I'm going to unbox a new HP Pavilion 13 laptop. This laptop doesn't come with a pre-installed Windows OS. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a new Windows OS into this device. And I'll also show you how to install all the necessary drivers for running the laptop in a trouble-free manner. So these are the specifications. It comes with the Intel i5 10th generation processor. It is a 13 inch laptop and now let's unbox and see what is there inside. It is really nicely packed as you can see. This is a charger and it is a 45 watt charger. It's quite small. These are the setup instructions in English. There's nothing much, it's just giving the location of the ports and the charging ports, etc. This laptop is a tranquil pink in color and it has BN audio. And as you can see, it is powered by the Intel Core i5, the 10th generation processor. Now let's install the Windows 10 OS into this computer. In order to do that, you need a USB disk of a minimum space of 8 GB. You also need to download the Windows 10 OS. You can just Google Windows 10 download and you can go to the official Microsoft link and you can go to the create Windows 10 installation media and download the tool. After you have downloaded, just click on the downloaded file to run the program and it will start the Windows setup. It will take some time. Once it is ready, just accept the terms and conditions and you can select to create installation media using a flash drive and you can also select the Windows version like the 64-bit or Windows 10 and the English, change the language and so on. In the next step, you will have two options. One is the USB flash drive mode and the ISO file mode. So we can use both of the options. Since you have to install the Windows to the new computer using the flash drive, so select flash drive it should be minimum of 8 GB and then just wait for it to complete the download. So this is how you download the Windows 10 OS from the official website. So I'll also show you how to create a bootable USB installation disk using the ISO file that I have. So in order to create the USB installation disk from ISO file, you just go to rufus.ie and download the Rufus portable tool. This tool is useful for creating bootable Windows installation from ISO file that you already have. You can also use a official Windows tool, but uh, this Rufus tool is much faster than the official one. And you don't need any installation, just use the portable one. So in the tool, select the USB disk that you want to set up and you select the ISO file and that's it. You can just start the process. And it will ask you whether you want to delete all the data in the USB disk. You just say OK. And this process will take some time. So in my case, it took 8 minutes to complete the process. And another thing that you should be downloading is the one of the necessary drivers for your laptop. That is the network driver or the WLAN driver for the wireless connection. Because when you install the fresh OS, it will not have any driver for the wireless Wi-Fi connection for connecting to the internet. So first you need to download that. So in order to download the HP drivers, just Google HP Pavilion drivers and go to the official driver download website. So if you go there, you can select laptop and you can type in your model number and select the correct model number. In my case, it's a HP Pavilion 13. And as you can see, it shows the drivers that is available for download. And you can also select the correct OS if it is wrong. And you can go to network driver and download the Intel WLAN driver. And you can put this in your USB disk that you have just created for installation. This will be useful for installing, uh, connecting to the internet after the installation process. Now let's start the installation process. Turn on the power and press the F9 key in order to access the boot menu. So once the boot menu comes up, you can select the USB disk that you have connected and press enter and it will boot from the USB disk into the Windows setup menu. In the setup menu, you can select language of the OS and you can also select the time and currency format and the keyboard layout and click install. Now you can accept the terms and conditions and go next. 
in which type of installation you want you should select the custom installation because you are not going to upgrade and in this menu you have to select the disk where you have to install since this is a new computer you can delete all of this disk because it has a pre-installed free dos and other data which can be deleted so just delete all these disks and you can also create a new partition so like you want to create a c drive and a d drive then you can allocate some space for the c drive by clicking on new and allocate some space for the c drive i'll allocate half of the space and then it'll create the c drive and you can also create a new d drive using the remaining unallocated space and now you can select the c drive for the installation process go next and then it will start the installation process you just have to wait for the installation to complete and boot up now the installation is completed and it's booting up in the setup you can select the region here you'll be asked to select the keyboard layout you can also select a secondary keyboard layout if you want so it's asking you to connect to a network but you will not be able to connect to the network because it doesn't have any drivers click on i don't have a network and you can enter the name who's going to use the pc and you can also set up a password for the device history you can select yes or no based on your preference and for the privacy settings you can also turn off some of the options based on your preferences and select next and now it is going to set up just wait for it to complete now it has completed the setup as you can see now the windows 10 is installed into this computer now you can install the wlan driver just click on the file that you have downloaded before and once it is installed you can see your list of wi-fi networks then you can connect to the wi-fi network that you have now after the connection of the internet you can see the windows has been activated so you need to install remaining uh, drivers and updates in order to do that you don't need to do it manually just turn on the windows update and it will be able to download and install all the remaining drivers go and type update in your windows search bar and go to check for updates and you can view the update history as you can see all the drivers have been installed and if some of the driver installations fail you can download that driver manually from the xp website as i have shown you before and another thing is that if you are installing windows updates then you will be asked to restart the computer multiple times so you may have to do that so once everything is done it is ready for use so that is how you set up the computer a new computer from scratch which doesn't come with the windows 10 os i did not buy the computer with the windows 10 os because i already have valid license keys from my organization buying a computer without windows 10 os is cheaper if you already have the windows 10 license this is how you set up the computer and install all the drivers please let me know if you have any queries regarding the installation and setup that's it for today i hope you liked the video Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.